Today is May 19th and we're in Los Angeles to launch Ready California, which is a statewide campaign to ensure the maximum number of California immigrants benefit from the Deferred Action Programs announced by the President last November. The two new programs announced in November included, included an expansion of DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, and a new program we call DAPA, which is Deferred Action for Parents of Americans and Lawful Permanent Residents, or sometimes called Deferred Action uh, for Parental Accountability. D DAPA is estimated to impact millions of people in the country and was supposed to be implemented today on May 19th, but because of a delay in the courts, it has not been implemented today. We thought we might be able to, you know, be able to come out of the shadows. We might be able to stop being, living with fear of deportation. I thought that I want to be able to leave my children at school every morning. But despite the delay, we are not dismayed. We are continuing to prepare the state and the immigrant community to respond to this program so that hopefully the most amount of people can benefit from them. Over 1.5 million people qualify just in the state of California uh, for the program's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals as well as um, the program for parents. Almost 60 percent of the individuals who would actually qualify um, are from our la of, of Latino background, whether Mexicanos in the majority or Central American. Today we're talking about um, the document preparation that a, a community has to do. So even though the, there's an injunction on, the, on these programs, um, we have to take full advantage of the time in between the program um, start because we need to make sure that when these programs are opened up that people are ready. We have um, one of the largest undocumented Asian communities here in Southern California in the country and there it's relatively unknown that there are so many undocumented Asians here in California and even within the Asian community there really is a stigma of coming forward and applying for any immigration benefits and and so what we're trying to do is um, let people know that there are Asians living in the shadows here in Southern California and that there are benefits to this program for them to come forward and apply for. Studies have shown that black immigrants are detained and deported at five times the rate uh, of their uh, presence in the undocumented immigrant community. You might not see that a lot because a lot of uh, black immigrants uh, continue to remain invisible. And so through that invisibility, they become very, very easy targets, um, uh, both you know, uh, for uh, being stereotyped, for racial profiling, uh, as well as uh, for criminalization. While the current immigration system continues to adversely impact all immigrant communities, black immigrants often remain overlooked and excluded uh, from the uh, immigration discourse. We are part of uh, Cities United for Immigration Action, which is a coalition of about 70 mayors and cities from across the country who defend the president's executive action. DAPA and DACA for us is very important here for the city, especially because we know that there are a lot of economic contributions that will come to the city and to our country and for everyone else in terms of our economic development. And secondly, it's a way to also keep our families together. If you are for family values, then you have no choice but to be for DAPA and DACA because it's not just justice for the immigrant community, but a pivotal part of keeping families together. Thank you very much.